Welcome everyone to another series on Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. I'm excited to get into this one. We can take the game, the, I mean this is the early access version. I just finished playing the closed beta and now here we are um, in the release. I mean release, early access, beta, I honestly, I, truly I don't know what these things mean anymore. There's no consistency from game to game. I feel like as soon as a customer can purchase it, the game is released. So that's apparently the case now, right? You can, I think people have been, I mean, you could have paid for the Patreon or the, there was a ways to be playing this already, but it kind of in a closed way. Now it'll be open on early access on Steam. So yeah, we are Tortuga Power and we're our shell corporation. I always love choosing that title. First order of business is, as a reminder, we are a tank company, tank production company, who wants to sell tanks to the governments, different governments. We start off in Great Britain and we'll definitely be picking up British contracts, but we can eventually sell our tanks to other nations as well. Um, but at the start of the game, we're in a world which has no demand for tanks and we are a tank production company. Our income is, there's no possibility of income. So we have to tighten the belt. We had a, we had a, yes, somebody would, in the previous series was accusing me of being a little apathetic to my workers conditions look at it's not it's not personal it's just that i need most of you guys not to work here anymore so i'm going to fire 140 which is going to take our potential monthly balance from 710 up to like 724 or so fire now we only have 100 left and hey 724 so that did cut the worker costs down from 24K to 10K, and that's big. I mean, we only have 800K, and we don't know when our first paycheck is coming. So yeah, times are kind of desperate. I mean, we have to be very mindful of what we're doing. I'm also gonna thin out the engineering core. So I want at least 20 for engineering, I mean, for research. And then I probably only need five? I think I only need five after that, so we'll fire like a full 25 of them. And then we'll just use five for engineering for now. And that has narrowed down our losses to 729, which is pretty good. So now the next order of business is we have to, for each one of these buildings, we can apply like little add-on building type stuff. Because my last playthrough was really derailed by several fires, I am gonna go build a fire station very begrudgingly. I think that the percentage was just off. It was way too high, but I don't know that. And I don't know if it's improved or better so not knowing, I just have to be safe and pick up that building. Ergonomic office. So I'm very research focused. That's yeah, it's like the Tortuga way is to prioritize research. So first thing we're gonna pick up is an ergonomics office. Um, this just increases the total number of engineers who work here from 20 to 30. It's a linear thing. So this basically is a 50% improvement. Um, the structure lab is gonna give us 15% reduction. That's weird. 10% and 10%. So anyways, I want to build these three. These are the three structure mobility and firepower are the three um, tier, the three categories. So structure, firepower, and mobility. It's weird that that gives you a 15% bonus on structure, but the other ones only give you a 10%. I don't know why that is. Maybe because these are more expensive in general. Wow, 42,000, yeah. De well, it definitely <laughs> makes sense now that I look at the research numbers. You need that 15%. So what's the first order of business for us? What do we want to research? It kind of depends on what we want to do in our initial first month. I think that we want to slightly improve the possibility of a new tank by giving it a better machine gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Hotchkiss 1909, which will give us also some better options um, for like barrel inserts and all that, even if we had, we used the original gun. The original gun that we're using right now is this, the Lewis, but it's, uh, you know, here we go, 74, 8, and 8. And the Hotchkiss is going to be 101, 10, and 10. So, it's, you know, it's just better. And uh, this category, the soft firepower, is actually a very, very important rating on your tanks in the initial part of the game. Obviously, the tank versus tank combat is not super popular or, you know, super common on the early days in the battlefield. It's mostly anti-personnel type duty. So we're gonna pick this one up and then while that one completes and we have the engineers working on it, we'll do the tracer munitions, which will also take, since it's the same amount of time, it'll also take 15 days. And once, so it, I think the engineering projects won't even take 15 days. Maybe I won't use the tracer munitions, but the idea is if we could 
while this is engineering project is working on the machine gun, we can um, research the tracer munitions. That's not something which needs to be engineered. So, I mean, just to take, take a step back, you research a current uh, an item, like a gun, then you have to go and design the engineer, you have to engineer it. I mean, it's really, you design it. Then after that, you can go to the design bureau, which is, I mean, this is a little confusing, and maybe they could emerge engineering and design bureaus, I don't know, but uh, you can take your, your engineered, designed gun and put it onto a tank. Once you can build a full tank with the engineering parts from engineering bureau, that's when you go to the design bureau and put it all together. So that's, you know, you have the, the raw parts and now you're making a full tank. That's the design bureau. So that's the process that they follow in this game. I think it's pretty good. Um, I really like playing this game. So whatever they're doing, it works, right? I also, did I, yeah, I fired workers, good. <laughs> it's very callous to say, but we built the building here, buildings here. I think that that's all we need to do to start. We'll probably also fire some um, engineers, but just for the moment, we can probably give them, I, so I've looked through all these things and there's nothing, none of them have any upgrades. The You start with a Mark I version of all these things. And that what that means is if you wanted, right from the very, very start of the game, you could research a, uh, a t you could design a tank. But I wanna do that one improvement first. I would like to at least. It's gonna give us, like I said, better firepower and well, it just helps and basically means you can make more money later. If your resources, I mean, if your score, tank score is better, then um, you can ask for more money or I don't know. Yeah, basically just ask for more money. Okay, so we have all these engineers. Well, no, we only have five engineers. Yeah, I'll, I, let me go back and try to focus just for a second. And I will do this upgrade. It's not that I need to, sorry, component for blueprint. But this one right here, we have the magazine mark four and it is better. So four, five, five, instead of three, four, four, I mean, three, three, three. Uh, a little more expensive in terms of parts and research, I mean, man hour cost to build it and money and everything in every way more expensive, but take these guys seven days, just five of these guys, seven days to, to get that done. So we got to trim the fat and we got to tighten the belt to make sure that we can try to coast until we have our first paycheck, which could be many months from now. That's why this game is very funny, the way it starts you in the middle of a... <laughs> I mean, 1914, this is way before there were tanks, right? So, all right, we're we're um, we're ready to go. We're ready to move forward. It's only going to be seven days. Uh, one other thing that I have to mention before... I think our engineers are just going to sit idle for a moment, but I have turned off the Diplomacy Relations News and the World News. I think it's accessible still if we just go to the news here. Uh, so... I don't know. We didn't get notice for this one, so I guess this did not uh, this qualified as general world news. But a lot of the world news is going to be the relationships with different countries being impacted, and it, it really isn't meaningful. So this is one big change uh, from the original game that came out, like the the demo. I think even the alpha it wasn't like this. I I, I just don't remember though. Um, you used to play historically through World War I, and one thing I really miss is the tank battles where you got to see how your tank performed. I thought that that was great. That is all gone, and now we play in just a sandbox world where there's just random alliances, random wars, and we... I don't know actually how to view my tank in battle like I used to, uh, which means I'm not really attached to the results, so hopefully that changes. It's early access, so there's definitely time for things like that to change. Okay, so that said, let's just keep pushing forward because I guess there's nothing for us to do for another five days. And I think that the game originally probably wants you to just um, hammer out that original tank right away. So this is us, we're kind of cheating, I guess. But let's go ahead and do it. So this one, two, one, one, two, two, one, it's better. We'll take the barrel two, five, six, four, it's better. Uh, we'll swap from the magazine 2 to the magazine 4, because that one's better. And we'll take the stock 2. So there we go. Better, and this is only going to take two days. Did I did I mess something up? Oh, oh, it's already done. Okay, well, if that's the case, then you know what? We'll hire back those. <laughs> we'll take them back. I, I changed my mind. You've been... Good engineers, they went on vacation. I don't know what you're talking about. We'll hire these guys back. We can put a total of 30 onto design a tank. 
And I do want all 30 of them for this. So we'll go back over to design. And we should be able to put ourselves together our first tank, the Mark I, Mark I. There is some humor in that. That, and then we can use this with the guns, and that gun, and that. None of that stuff we can change. But now, instead of getting an attribute sum of 90, the original gun that we could have done, what we can do instead is... Am I doing research? I think I just wasted two days of research, which drives me nuts, but I think we'll live with it. So instead of the 90 attribute sum, we can do 121. That's the nice improvement that we've got researching the machine gun. So now we can assign 30 guys. They'll take them 35 days to get this going. Oh, right, we have to do selected crew. I forgot about that. So we want a commander. Just want to satisfy these things. Avoid yellow and definitely avoid red if you want to um, not have as many of these defects. But yeah, we. I think that's the way it goes, that... Having things in green gives you less defects. I don't remember exactly though. I thought I read that on one of the pop-ups somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly how these come into being. So that's just my guess, just to make sure you know. I'm not super confident in my answer there. Uh, yeah, we'll take, um, how about we take a gunner mechanic here. We'll take another gunner. Then we'll take a loader, another loader, and then two mechanics. And our crew is going to be a little bit tight too. Yep, new things definitely popped up when that went into the red. So that does appear to be how it is. And if you can keep it in the yellow, or even better if you keep it in the green, you're going to have less of these defects. We're going to have to live with these because I, I don't, I mean, I think it's important to have, <laughs> you know, the crew requirements met or nearly met. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and add some expendables as well. We can only add the HE Mark 1. This is where I was going to add those other things, but again, we can't because we didn't get the tracer stuff. Add that petrol. It's all fine. This is the original tank. Now, it's going to be benefit from machine workshop cutting focus. Oh, 10, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, what? Oh, this is probably a 0% bonus because I don't have those things. And I think that we're going to be doing the riveting but it's also good to know that milling and cutting would be beneficial here but what we will do in the riveting so we'll get a 10 percent boost to this one we just won't do that until we're i mean we'll do it i guess we should do it now so we can get the bonus for our production nonetheless let's go ahead and get that thing designed now what do i need to do next yeah research was sitting idle for a couple days which is a bummer oh but onward onward we go i'm not going to worry about it too much can never get those two days back. But what's next for us? So I think that we're going to eventually want to design a new tank, a new version of what we were actually building. I know I went medium hole and it worked out well, but my experience in the early access build in two playthroughs has been that you should go with the normal tank because you need guns. And actually what you probably need is to do what I ended up doing in that one. So let's go for the let's go for the female sponson. This is 26 days. Another consideration is I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do this, but 26 days, how long is it until our buildings are done? So 25 buildings until the, the, but then 45 is when I can add the new people. That's the one I'm most interested in. I want some tech to finish like a day or on the same day of, or very close to when this finishes so I can quickly access those additional 10 and engineers in the research. Okay. Um, production hall, I think I am going to go ahead and get the riveting hall. So this will take more money, which we don't have. There we go. And I think that they're going to ask us to do this sub-assembly line, mount hour cost reduction for tank production. That is just so important. We're going to build that as well. Because ultimately, it's about meeting the contract. And the earlier you can have the tanks arrive, the more the government is impressed by it. One thing I don't like is that if you miss the deadline even by a day, you get zero money and you get fully penalized. That's not how any government contract I've ever heard of works. So I'm a little surprised to see it's so hardly enforced here, especially because it's a military thing. If you're at war and somebody's going to deliver the tank or military whatever object a day late, I don't think your military is going to go tell them to stuff it. They'll probably take it and with a harsh word and maybe some penalty, but they'll take it, you know, and they'll still pay for it too. Uh, anyway, that's... Yeah, I have a lot of little um, remarks about this game, but you know, that's just because when you really like something, you end up getting really involved and really into it, and you start seeing 
the ways, I mean, you basically when you're passionate about it, you start to really think about how it could be improved. Okay, William Triton is available for hire. We will pick him up eventually. He's going to go into the production hall yet, so we don't need him right away. Oh, wow. That's, you know, this is just crazy, man. I can't avoid these fires. 10 days and 25k. Alright, well, go ahead. It just wouldn't have been... It would have been nice if they could have waited, you know, like... I don't know how many days I have left in my research, but... That many days, probably like 15 or so. So all that's going to suspend, you know, reduce the amount of time we have to actually start producing the tanks that we want to fulfill a contract that will eventually happen. So it's, it's problematic. Okay, we have one day left and then we'll have... Oh yeah, we have 30 idle while this thing's being finished. That's just awful. If it makes me restart from the very beginning, I will be very upset. I mean, will I? Is this the chance we need... To actually maybe research a better tank to right off the get-go. This is um how long are you gonna take? 14 days. Well the design bureau is gonna be ready faster than that, so I don't think we're gonna be able to get that ready that quickly. But I probably can get this tracer munition stuff that I was talking about. The thing is, I'm just not sure if they're going to require me to, if the, if the 30 engineers are going to pick up where they left off, or if the design bureau is going to need to be completely redone, which would be a royal pain, but anyways, we have those engineers sitting idle, we might as well get, put them to work. What did we finish? We finished the female sponson, so we can craft this with all just the most basic stuff. Turret Mark II, I mean, Turret Door Mark II is actually available, that's good. We can actually upgrade the original one with these kind of things too. So we'll get this, we'll sign it. That's only gonna take five days, great. So it'll actually be ready. <laughs> if the design is restarting, we can actually use the female sponsor instead, which would be perfect, actually. Okay, um, let's see, eight days, five days for that, 14. We're all set. Let's see, this one's gonna finish first, then we'll, I guess we'll go for the male, the better male. Why not, right? I don't know what else I would do. Yeah, we already have that the best one we can. This stuff has not been improved, I imagine. Yeah, we haven't done anything with that yet. So yeah, it's gotta be this. All right, male sponsor, you can be upgraded with a better turret door. Is it better? Making sure four, six, three. It is definitely better. And even like one material less too, which is great. And the turret hatch, one, two, one, three. Yeah, it's much better. And it's way better because it's the same resources. Great, definitely do that. So let's assign that one, it takes five days. Perfect. They won't be able to go back into the design anyway. I mean, I just, I'm just realizing this. In three days, we're gonna have a bunch of engineers not able to do anything. Another thing, I thought you used to be able to look at the, um, the competition tanks and see their rating. You can when a contract comes around, but I thought previously there was a way to look at the I mean, in the demo, they had a lot of this functionality, which I no longer see. So it's very interesting the way this game has been developed. Okay, so it's been repaired, and it is going to take 28 days, which I am sure is not... Oh, it's 73% complete. Well, I'm going to cancel that. This is crazy. But in two days, we're gonna be able to design a new one and we're gonna move, although it's 75, 73%, we're gonna have another 35 day project. Yeah, I mean, this is not a great start. The fires are kind of ridiculous, I think, right now. <laughs> they just happen a little bit too often. Maybe, I mean, maybe they've been reduced and I'm just very, very unlucky. People talk about streamer good luck. I, like, there's, Tortuga's luck is, it's definitely not good. So let's try to just design this thing. And I know it's, it would have been like 25 days remaining on the original one. I'm going to trash the Mark 1, Mark 1. We're going to make the Mark 1, Mark 1, Mark 1. Well, it would really be Rev 1, but that's uh, it's neither here nor there. Put that, put that, and now we can build the Sponson Mark 2 on one side. Hey, we'll build the female Sponson on the other side. And now we can do this. 
and get more of our world-class leading machine guns. I really like that. I think in general, it will be a much better design. It'll also be lighter, I think, because these machine guns don't weigh as much. Even two of them doesn't weigh as much as one gun. That could add some benefits for us. Let's go over to the crew and see how this all works. Does it come out the same? So let's get uh, one gunner, one gunner loader. No, yeah, I guess I can do a gunner loader as well. That works just the same way. Then a gunner mechanic and then two mechanics. And that should put us great. Eight crew. We have probably the same number of defects. So I don't know that, you know what? No, I don't, we don't have any defects down here. So things did get better. And not only that, but they got a lot better in terms of firepower as well. So this will only take 30 days. You know, we're only about six, seven days behind where we would have been. So maybe I should look at this fire and all the wasted money on all that other stuff as a, a you know, a uh, not a, what's it called? Like a, not a mixed blessing. I don't know why I want to say that, but like, you know, a bad thing, which actually was good. There's definitely a silver lining here is what I'm trying to say. So let's advance time again, four days. Gotta remember. Okay. Tracer munitions is done. Also the riveting hall. So we're ready to build a tank, even though we don't have one designed yet. Dang it. Cause that's going to add to our maintenance cost, unfortunately. And building maintenance is very expensive. Okay. Research. What do we want to do next? Yeah, so now we're starting to plan already for the longer term. We have a very good tank, which would probably be, we can probably build the just the hell out of that thing. <laughs> and for like a long time, that's going to be the tank we can, we can design. I think I will start moving. I mean, this is something we'll want anyways. For the medium hole, we're going to want it. But really for any tank, we're going to want it. So let's just do that next. And was I an idiot? I will cancel that right away. Yeah, in five days, I'm going to get the ergonomics office. So let me just pick up the cheapest research I can, which is going to be 28, 21. Let's build this low, that's the best one. So this takes 14 days, perfect. And honestly, um, when you build up the treads and all that of even something you're not even interested in using, you get all the parts for it, like the better gears, the better sprockets, and you can add those things to um, your other tank designs, something I, I should be remembering. So we'll only waste nine days with less engineers than you know we can actually handle. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm taking a drink, otherwise I would have laughed even more hysterically at the fact that the fire station finished. Anyway, moving on. So predicted balance keeps going down. All right, low pass running gear is done. We have the extra engineers now. Um, we don't have the extra engineers. So this is 12 days away. We're gonna actually do some hiring and then firing here. Bring on 10 new people. And we'll go over to research. Now I can do the RHA steel, 17 days instead of, what was it, 24 or so? And that's the benefit. I mean, we pay for it, right? We're paying for those 10 extra engineers. It's not like the buildings with a flat 10 or 15% bonus. But it's still a bonus, and I'm willing to pay for it for research. You may, I, I mean, I assume the game is balanced around people not doing that, too, so. Sub seven line is done. Yeah, I know all that stuff's done. We don't even have a tank designed yet. But that's coming very, very soon. You're not idle. Six more days, and you will be. All right, it's done. All right, two things we want to do then. We want to send it to the Proving Grounds, which is going to allow us, after it's done here, for us to get rid of, not get rid of, I guess, but to reduce the impact of the defects. So we will test it. It's another 9,000. That's okay. It's worth paying for, I think. Um, it also, there's a lot of those things where I think it goes towards your reputation. So there's a reputation thing somewhere. I don't know. I'm aware. Maybe it's a tank reputation thing. Yeah, the tank reputation is worse um, if it has all those defects. So we'll get it to the Proving Grounds, we'll put it back to the Design Bureau, we'll pay for all those defects to be addressed as best we can, and then to the production place it'll go. But in the meantime, we now have 30 less... <laughs> we, we have the, I should say, need for 30 less engineers. And as I've already mentioned, this is a, a tight operation. 
Even though we probably could be doing engineering projects, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Just gonna fire everybody else and try to get through. Okay, so go. We only care about research and this, which makes things easy. Okay, RJ Steel is done. Uh, actually, there's other buildings we're gonna have to start picking up pretty soon, but we could do medium hole. Well, we'll probably end up doing that. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do medium hole next. It has really nice benefits, things which could again impact our regular design, our Mark One type body. Okay, yeah, that's how I describe myself when people, when the ladies ask. Yeah, Tortuga, he has a Mark One type body. Contract number one is ready to go. Well, we are like so far behind where we should be for this contract. That's, well, it's, it's really actually frustrating is what it is. But we cannot submit anything to this yet. This is what I'm talking about, by the way. Your success so score is, it's funny. It can just go so high if you just reduce this. So our competitor must be very good. It's between 373 and five, 405. So we wanna try to get this maybe around 400 or higher. I don't know how this works exactly if um, I'm not sure how exactly it works where they might be chosen over yours what the probability is is it just like this is zero this is a hundred prorated between those I don't know I mean that's my naive guess but I, I really don't know so one way of getting an improved success score is to promise that you'll deliver tanks earlier but look at this is gonna take a while for these to build we don't even have a single one ready to produce not even tomorrow so we're kind of boned on this first thing. We're probably gonna end up taking either a pay cut or something bad in order to win the contract. And on top of winning the contract, still trying to make money. But hey, guess what? The good news is if we don't make that contract, we go bankrupt, which is great, right? Yeah, it's great. So the game puts you in kind of a peculiar place. It gives you almost like instant loss conditions if you fail, you know, due to say a fire in your design bureau, <laughs> then yeah, it, it may, it's, you're gonna go bankrupt because there's not another contract which comes around quickly enough for you to survive the the money loss. Which is, I don't know, it's a little, it seems a little cruel, but that's the game we're playing. So let's wait our six days to get this thing fixed. And it looks like the rivals have introduced another tank. I, I don't think that's one we'll be judged against because they already contracts already released and the contract competition doesn't I've never seen it change in the course of the contract after the contract being announced so next things is address these defects which is also going to cost money money that we really really don't have so decreases the reputation penalty and it, it oftentimes also reduces the the penalty for the actual defect so this is going to improve our improve our crew awareness by two it was minus five so this originally would have been a seven uh, this is the same thing, so, you know, same thing, it was a 7, it'll become a 4, it was a, an 8, it'll become a, a 5. Um, good enough, so we'll just go ahead and blindly accept the rest of these. In fact, I wish there was a, just a button to amend all, I would do it. Instead, we'll just click through all of these. If you want, you can pause and read, but I don't think it's that interesting. Good, so we're done with that. We have some amount of money left. Now it's to get to the order of... Of building them and now is when I have realized I've made a grave mistake I did not hire this guy already so we will hire him immediately he will reduce the time for us to build stuff and actually let me go back to that screen because we're gonna want to hire some workers this is a seasonal thing you know we don't get too comfortable here once these are done we will have no need for you uh, we have Gotten all 300 that we can. We can actually get a couple more once this other guy is hired in five days. So we'll just build five days worth. Of, oh my God, it takes so long just to produce one of them. So we'll build two while we're waiting for this new guy to come on board and then he'll reduce the amount of time. He'll also add to the number of workers we can, we can uh, do this. So we're gonna have two in six days. If we use this general rule of thumb that it'll take, um, three days to build one of them. When can we complete a contract? And of course, this there's a whole game here where you can, if you wait longer, you know, you can produce more, but they're gonna have lower success score. 
Yeah, so success scores reflects how appealing your offer is. If your offer success score exceeds that of competitors, it will be accepted. The offer, price, tank, contributes, vehicle, mass, and proposed deadline are used to compute the success score. Yeah, not sure about why. So we, we exceed them, and I'm guessing that soft power with the improvement there. Probably, remember, the original gun was like 70, and we're up to 136 on that, which is good, very good. So we got some bonus there. Was, uh, that's an improvement of about 70. Uh, well, let's call it from like 80 to 130 is about a 50. So we got a 50 success score boost for that. But we are not at the competitor's rating of C 373. So I'm not sure what the what we can do about this. Well, one thing we can do is reduce the amount of money we make. But the other thing, which is to me the more obvious thing, is to reduce your deadline. Now, we're going to start producing tanks. We want to produce... If we want to produce 20 of them, it's going to take 60 days. This contract is just not going to go well. <laughs> We're probably going to produce... I don't know. I, I don't know how we can win this, in fact. I guess we just have to cut... Undercut severely. And then... Yeah, we won't be making very much money at all on these, is the problem. But the other problem is that there's this, you know, like we win the contract now, so we can start bumping this up. Okay. How many can we produce? If we want to make them for only $25.50, which is just a crime, and if we are willing to... Uh, we have until the middle of December to make these. Again, one every three days, we probably can't make this, but I feel like we can make this. Oh, we're only going to get half a million. We're barely going to be <laughs> skirting by, but that's okay. This is the first contract. I guess it's kind of fine and exciting if we barely, barely pull through. Can I afford to build more than 20, though? Because we're going to get uh, the bonus for that other individual, on top of which... No, I have to deliver them, too. So let's just go ahead and stamp this. I'm gonna ask to win this contract at, you know, what, you know, if we don't win it, we lose, right? That's the end of the game. In the meantime, I'm gonna start prepping our potentially, no, not the, I don't wanna be in the building, I just wanna go to the building. And we want to do anything which can decrease the, the, decrease the time it takes for these to be delivered. So that is a, a no-brainer. Supply Depot is not what I want. Truck is reliability. I will want that eventually too, but this tank delivery time is what I want first. Then probably we should get this and improve tank delivery time as well. It's just a very important. I don't really care about resource delivery items. They're they're secondary. You know, they're important in some ways, but they're, they're truly secondary. What is this? Tank reliability. So we got reliability here. We have tank delivery time, and then this is tank delivery time, right? Good. Let's only build those three for now. Resource liability, not as big of a deal for me. Delivery time, not a big deal for me. Scrapping. Yeah, I don't. I just prefer not to scrap. How about that? Bonus to raw resource prices sold by. No, we don't. We don't want to sell resources. We only want to buy them. Stockpile. Storage capacity for the. Oh yeah, this increases it, but. We have enough resources that we can store already, and this one increases the number of tanks. Again, so I don't think we need any of those, and we need the money more than we need it. the benefit that we'd get from anything else. All right. 14 days, 6 days, here we go. All right. Contract was accepted. Good luck to us. So William Triton is ready. We'll wait one more day. New tank was revealed. All these guys. All right, we... Technically, we finished production, but not really, right? So we're going to go back over and hire 50 more workers. I forgot. Sorry. I need to first put William into his position where he allows us the additional 50 workers and 30% man hour cost reduction for tank production, which is insane. Very important that we put him in there. And now we can go ahead and pick up an extra 50 workers. Just do that and we'll, they'll pick up the 50 for me. You can't hire more than can fit. We'll go over to production. 
And let's see how our estimate was. Did we get it right? We only need 20 right now. So we need 18 total. And look at that. Now, instead of producing one every three days, we're producing two every three days. That is insane. Yes, that's great. So we'll take 18 because that's all we want for now. We may update the tank. We may even just try to sell this thing. We'll probably just build the hell out of this thing. You know, we might as well just, until we're out of resources, just build this thing because we'll probably try to use it for the next contract as well. So let me sign this. It can take 47 days. At some point, we'll, we will have fulfilled our 20 contract need and we'll be fine. But we'll keep building for the next contract, which is the way I, I like to operate. Um, what else are we going to need? Wow, we're going to need a loan very soon. But until that time comes, let's push on. Medium hole is finished. So what do we want to do next? Yeah, we probably we do want to do bolted assembly line, but let's maybe pick up this one. We also need the engine, all these nice little parts. They're all busy working. Okay, another research thing. We'll probably get the next. I just want to fill up everybody's bottom tier stuff. 12 days on that. Loading screens I feel like could could get a little tedious. Yeah, even these um, rival tank design rumors, there's quite a few of them. And I think that they would be better if they didn't pause the game, but if they were just some oh, predicted balance is negative. Well, the moment you go negative in this game, you go bankrupt and you lose. So that's, you know, that's not good. Twin engine is done, so let's go ahead and research something new. I guess we'll get the solid slot. What well, Just all these low-hanging fruit. That one may not have been as important to pick up. We could probably could have just skipped it all together. We didn't. So we need to make sure that by before the end of the month we take out a loan. And our contract, when is it due? Um, by the way, I found out that you can see... Uh-oh. What the heck is going on here? This has, this is the day you have to deliver it by, and it usually is one day before this. I am so confused, though. So, anyway, we have plenty of time, essentially. We have 37 days, and we're going to have the number of tanks we need. Oh, we already have the number of tanks we need. Well, I sorely miscalculated that. It would have been nice to make a lot more money off of these, but we can go ahead and just deliver them, which we will. We don't even need the high reliability option. Sorry, this is resources, which we're gonna need more resources, but delivery speed, 12, that's fine. A thousand, we, you know, this is very easy. Let's just, is there a way? There we go, 20, good. So we'll, we'll have 20 of these delivered, which is exactly what the contract requires. And we'll make our, our first contract. And that'll be a nice way to wrap up this episode. Uh, yeah, got that done. Six more days. And these guys are building... Oh, by the way, I'm waiting to get paid first so we can buy more resources. But we are going to need more resources before we can build more tanks. <laughs> anyway, another research real quick. I can say this because it's going to be something I want to say at the end of the video anyways. This is going to be the start of what I hope to be is a, a pretty long series. So um, if you wouldn't mind pressing the like button, giving it a thumbs up just to increase its visibility on YouTube, I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, contract number one is complete and we have enough money, maybe. Hey, we didn't have to take out a loan. Well, that's the first time I haven't had to take out a loan. So, you know, maybe there's hope after all. <laughs> Anyways, it's the perfect time to wrap this one up. Join me back in the next one where we'll, I mean, I hope that we can use this in another contract. We'll probably end up building a lot more of the this base tank, which I think is pretty good. And uh, we'll see how we can do with the research stuff, try to get into the later game stuff. I want to blow through Fort 1914, 1915 and get to like the, the new stuff that I haven't seen. Hopefully we can do that uh, as quickly as possible. Until then, though, thanks for watching and take care.